Day to you as the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. We've got some more Jewish humour. Um, hopefully it's not offensive. Um, yeah. It's broadcast, 9 inch broadcast 898, Levinsky's Jubilee, humorous by Julian Rose. Well, we've heard Levinsky's wedding, haven't we? You know, my cousin uh, married recently. He married out. Yeah, married a woman. Here we go. Say, I want to tell you some more about Becky Ginsburg's wedding. The way that groom was dressed, something terrible beautiful. He had on a pleated shirt from the latest style, and everything what he each seemed to land in the pleats. No two things rolled down the same alley. He said to me, Levinsky, will you please pass me the tomato sauce? I said, why don't you take some off your shirt? Was he mad with me? Well, I should worry. I could have laughed in his face, but why should I show him a good time for nothing? And I want to tell you, when I came home, I told my little boy about all the rich people that I met by the wedding. He said, Papa, I would like to be rich too. I said, so you shall be, my little boy, but you've got to save your pennies. He said, Papa, but I want the money box to keep my pennies in. I want a great big box that holds a lot. I don't want a penny tin. When I take my coppers out, I can put them back again until I got enough to buy myself a golden watch and chain. Ike is a clever boy. He makes my heart feel gay. He saves up all his pennies. He'll be a rich man someday. I said, you can have that money box that hangs upon the wall. You drop your pennies in the slot and you hear how nice they fall. Then Ike put in tuppence and father turned the crank. My, how proud that little fellow was to have such a lovely bank. Then he and me, we listened, and we heard the coppers pass, but it was only me who knew that Ike paid for 20 feet of gas. And now, Mr. Conductor, if you'll give me a little bit of music, I'll make for you a little theater. I never will forget Levinsky's wedding. Will always linger in my memory. Every hero who was able was right by the table to help me celebrate his jubilee. When Levinsky, I'll come out of supper ready. They all rushed for the dining room at once. And scuttled for the places. How they filled the places. You think they didn't eat the thing for months? There was Einstein, Scheinstein, Greenstein, I must give it Skolstein, Molstein, Moses, and just give it Schlepstein, Schlepstein, Scholler, Shinsky, Marais and Perlmutter, Lefkowitz, Siminsky, Zipkin, Pipkin, Zhukovsky, and Iskivitz, and the family, such people, oh, you never seen, there was no liquor, so Finkelstein, went out to my port and drank my gasoline at Levinsky's Jubilee. Ike Levi stuck his nose in Shurum's coffee, fat Mrs. Moses said it wasn't dry. Then the shamas is Yimishkas, Tick Levi and the Kishkas. A ride of aid and everyone came to fight. Women fainted and the children started yelling. Guys of help police and murder to the air. In a minute bells were ringing, and now the clubs were speaking. Policemen seemed to come from everywhere. There was Casey, Tracy, Spattery and Hulahan, Heaney, Meaney, Peppery and Mulligan, Dimpty, McGinty, Riley and O'Brien, Donovan and Dooley, Chancey and Ryan, Dickie, Mickey, McGuire and Monaghan, Big Top, Mike, McGee. Then on ahead each club was bent, there it bent, it left a dent. Out through the doors and the windows went. Einstein, Einstein, Greenstein, I must give it Holstein, Moldstein, Moses, and just give it Swetstein, Pepstein, Scholl, Lushinsky, Manash and Permuda, and Lushinsky, Zipkin, Zipkin, Zikovsky, and Iskivitz. Figures one, two, three. Everybody there was filled with dread. Everybody there but Cohen Fred. He didn't move an inch because he was dead. And the Vinsky's Jubilee. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. I'll see you again sometime. Well, there we are, viewers. I don't know quite what to make of that. I'm sure you do. Thank you viewers and goodbye.